A major operation is underway tonight at the Charlestown Navy Yard, returning the nation's oldest commissioned warship to the waters of Boston Harbor. Two years of repairs on the USS Constitution are finished, and old Ironsides is being moved from dry dock. WBC Shante Lands is live on the harbor, and Shante, I guess high tide will do the trick. And Ken and Katie, it should. This is the USS Constitution, newly restored. The undocking process started at about 4 o'clock and will continue till around 10 o'clock tonight. It looks pretty cool. Even the littlest spectators made their way to the Charlestown Navy Yard to get a view. She is the oldest commissioned warship afloat in the world. She is the oldest sailing vessel in the world that can still sail under her own power. And she is the beginning of the United States Navy. After a lengthy stint in dry dock, the USS Constitution hits the water once again. Nicknamed Old Ironsides during the War of 1812, the nation's oldest warship will return to the Boston Harbor after spending more than two years undergoing maintenance and repairs. Crews waited until high tide Sunday afternoon to flood the dry dock and lift the ship into the water. Restoration happens once every two decades. The ship turns 220 years old in October, and it's been manned by sailors since 1797. So by doing this restoration project, we're ensuring that we're going to continue on being a, a part of the Navy, a part of the fleet, uh, we still have a mission of, of telling the Navy's story and representing the more than 322,000 sailors that are on duty, on watch around the world uh, as we speak right now. And the ship is expected to float off its blocks around 10 o'clock tonight and it will arrive in the Boston Harbor around 1130. Live on the Charlestown Navy Yard, Shantae Lands, WBZ News.